Bonjour! Je m'appelle Obscurist Tourist, and as you may have already figured out from my terrible French, I come to you not from Ontario for once, but I am here in Montreal, Quebec, La Belle Provence, and I'm going to show you around to a few places frequented and now frequented by a Canadian icon, a Montreal icon not just confined to Canada, but a world icon, poet, musician, all around great guy, Leonard Cohen. So without further ado, let's explore Montreal. Leonard Norman Cohen was born in Westmount, Quebec on September 21st, 1934. And in case you don't know the name, I'll fill you in. Cohen was a Lithuanian Canadian singer-songwriter, poet, and novelist. He was an icon who was inducted into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame, the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Though Cohen pursued a career as a poet and novelist during the 1950s and early 60s, he didn't actually begin a music career until 1967, at the ripe age of 33. If you still don't know who Cohen is, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that you've heard his most famous song, Hallelujah, covered by myriad artists throughout the years including Katie Lang and Jeff Buckley. Leonard Cohen ultimately died in Los Angeles on November 7th, 2016, at the age of 82. I have three stops to make on this little Leonard Cohen tour today, so hopefully we can get it all done by the end of the day. They all seem pretty spread out, but uh, I have confidence. So our first stop here today is the former home of Mr. Leonard Cohen. And I believe that this was the last place he owned when he died. And he would, when he wasn't in Los Angeles, this is where he stayed, right here, right across from this beautiful park. And there it is, number 28. Rue Vallier. This was the former home, not the childhood home, of Leonard Cohen. And it is interesting to note that while most famous people cordon themselves off from the general population, Leonard Cohen chose to live right in downtown Montreal, in and amongst the people across the street from a nondescript yet cute park. Fittingly, Marianne Street was within eyeshot of his house, and someone actually attached this little goodbye to the High Priest of Pathos right after his death. So just up this street right here, you can see some of the trees and the colored foliage in the background there. That is the foothills of Mont Royal, and that is our last destination. But Right now, I want to show you a very beautiful tribute to Leonard Cohen. Check that out. A giant mural dedicated, painted in honor of Montreal's own son here, Leonard Cohen. So my last stop today is also Leonard Cohen's last stop because I am on the hunt for his grave site where he was buried, his final resting place. And it is somewhere 
around Mont Royal. And uh, it's been quite a trek. You can see right behind me, I brought Big Blue, Grand Bleu, to Montreal to help me in my little hunt and our little tour here. I actually mistakenly brought this hat when I was packing to come on this trip. Old Quebec Nordiques hat. And when I get to the grave, I will be sure to take it off because I am positive that Leonard Cohen was a Montreal Canadiens fan and I do not want to offend him in any way. So I'm gonna take it off as you do, as all Canadians do, you gotta be respectful. And after some struggle going uphill for a little while up Mont Royal, I have finally found it. This is the Shar Hashemim Jewish Cemetery here in Montreal. And right behind those gates, that is that is where I will find the grave of Leonard Cohen. So let's go. Actually, I'm gonna take this off. So an unanticipated consequence of trying to find Leonard Cohen's grave is the fact that there are a heck of a lot of Cohen's buried here. And yet another Cohen, not Leonard's grave. And neither is that one behind. It is a sea of Cohen's, really. This could take a little while to find it. And yet another Cohen. And another. And even more Cohen's. But not the Cohen we are looking for today. And yet another. And still not the one we are on the search for. Somewhere in there, I will find you, Leonard. I will find your grave. Some more Cohen's, but not the Cohen we are looking for. And this still isn't Leonard's grave, the grave we are looking for, but directly to the left of it, there it is. Leonard Cohen's final resting place. And contrary to popular belief, he actually did not die in Montreal, but chose to be buried here. His, his lifelong home where he was born, he died on November 7th, 2016 at the age of 82 in Los Angeles, California. Leonard Cohn. Rest in peace. Anyway, that is it for me today. That is my last stop. Leonard Cohen's final resting place here in Montreal, Quebec. So, until next time, be safe, stay beautiful, and so long. See you later.